I want to talk about concrete ceiling. Uh, this is something that a lot of people ask about, and I get a lot of questions about concrete ceiling. Is it important to seal your concrete? Why do you seal your concrete? And I want to do a quick demonstration of, of, I guess, why you seal your concrete. So to understand that, we have to understand concrete's biggest enemy, which is water. If I were to put this bottle of water inside a freezer, as you would know, it would freeze, it would expand, it would stretch that bottle out since it's plastic. Now, concrete is porous. It's basically like a big sponge that sucks in water. So if water gets inside of there, it's gonna expand just like it will in this bottle after it freezes. And that expansion's putting pressure on the concrete and it could cause the concrete to break down over time. This is why you see concrete that's pretty new have the surface just come right off. We call that spalling, scaling. That's essentially water getting inside of the concrete, freezing, which causes it to expand and has nowhere to go. So it pops the surface right off. Now, Strong concrete is designed to withstand that expansion, but weak concrete isn't. Also, concrete over time develops less resistance to that expansion. So the bottom line is water constantly going into concrete and freezing is causing stress within the concrete. So this is a driveway that we recently sealed. We actually applied sealer to this this uh, driveway yesterday. We cleaned it the day before we came back and we applied what's called a penetrating sealer. Doesn't change the color, doesn't change the texture. However, the concrete now um, should repel water and we're gonna test it out here. Hopefully, hopefully it repels it or else I'm gonna be a little embarrassed. Um, so first we're gonna do a test here of concrete that's unsealed. Okay, so this is the public walkway and you can see the public walkway area gets dark when I pour the water on it. That means the water is actually absorbing into the concrete. That part was unsealed. This is the part that was sealed. You could see that the water in this area does not change the concrete. Actually, it beads up. So the water that has nowhere to go, it's not gonna absorb into the concrete. I'll do it again here just to kind of test it out um, and just kind of rolls right off. So that tells me that this concrete is sealed which is great because now you have a barrier that's gonna protect your concrete. It's not gonna be impacted by freeze-thaw cycles. And the best part about putting a sealer is that it lasts a long time. A good penetrating sealer is gonna last you eight to 10 years. So with this driveway, this customer just had this installed a few years ago. It's a pretty big investment. He also has the patio, which we sealed. All this concrete, you're looking at twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. A little bit of sealer, every eight to 10 years is a small investment to protect something this valuable on a home. So should you seal your concrete? I think you should. Um, is it important? Definitely important if you really are looking to protect that investment.